this demonstration, we take a look at two pendulums oscillating. Uh, the pendulums are equal in length, and they have at their ends a neodymium magnet. Um, a little screw is used to attach them conveniently to the string. So with them being of equal length, we might reasonably expect that they would oscillate uh, in like manner. So as we draw them aside to the edge of the paper and let go, we find in fact that there is a difference in the motion uh, of each pendulum. This one has come to rest rather unexpectedly, while this one continues to oscillate. If we restart in case uh, there was something ir irregular, you know, they both started more or less the same, but yet again this one quickly came to a halt. So why should that be? Well, if we stop this one to reveal that underneath the sheet of paper there was a piece of copper under one pendulum but not the other. So what effect is the copper having? Well, the first thing to observe is that the copper is not attracted to the magnet the way other metals are. So it's not that it's a magnetic attraction that is slowing down the magnet, but rather the introduction of eddy currents into the copper due to the passing magnet overhead. And these eddy currents in the copper have the effect of uh, impeding the oscillations of the pendulum, thereby bringing it to rest more quickly than the other one.